so ninth class this is your assignment of charts in calci chapter that we have covered right so let us discuss this assignment so that you can finish this assignment in your registers right first question is raise your hand for the answers okay first question is define chart yes who will discuss come with your answers please hurry up raise your hand yes janvi ji unmute yourself and give the answer the charts are the pictorial representation of data yes chart refers to the pictorial representation of the data very good very right okay uh, next is name any five types of chart name any five types of chart yes hurry up please yes navneet unmute yourself column chart chart bar chart donut chart yes column chart bar chart area chart donut chart what else navneet navneet unmute bete yes any other type of chart you know bar chart column bar. chart pie chart area chart donut chart yes okay uh, navnoor unmute yourself okay yeah beta you tell me area chart column chart column bar chart. chart okay line chart pie chart or net chart okay okay so type of charts are your column chart bar chart please lower down your hands all of you it's good that you all know the answers lower down your hands so types of charts are column chart bar chart area chart line chart pie chart donut chart stock chart net chart xy scatter chart column and line chart these are the various types of chart okay now next question name any six components of chart yes jap ji unmute yourself jap ji unmute yourself jap ji am i audible to you please unmute okay dipali you unmute yourself and tell me the answer to this question dipali unmute yourself dipali am i audible what happened these girls are not able to unmute themselves tanveen unmute yourself yes yes tanveen unmute please yes sir yes you tell me six components of chart uh, x axis x axis y axis y axis data series data series uh, chart area chart area plot area plot area legend legend what else a uh, data label data labels axis title axis title don't say x axis title commonly chart title chart title guidelines 
ग्रिड लाइन ग्रिड लाइन ग्रिड लाइन ओके सो आई रिपीट ऑल द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ चार्ट वंस अगेन लिसन केयरफुली एक्स एक्सिस वाई एक्सिस चार्ट टाइटल एक्सिस टाइटल चार्ट एरिया प्लॉट एरिया लेजेंड ग्रिड लाइन्स डाटा सीरीज डाटा लेबल्स एम आई क्लियर आई रिपीट वंस अगेन ऑल द कॉम्पोनेंट्स और एलिमेंट्स ऑफ चार्ट एक्स एक्सिस वाई एक्सिस चार्ट टाइटल चार्ट एरिया प्लॉट एरिया एक्सिस टाइटल डाटा सीरीज डाटा लेबल लेजेंड एंड ग्रिड लाइन्स दीज आर ऑल द कॉम्पोनेंट्स और एलिमेंट्स ऑफ चार्ट ओके ऑल राइट फोर्थ क्वेश्चन mention two ways by which chart can be inserted in the calci worksheet mention two ways by which chart can be inserted in calci worksheet uh, yes gorav unmute yourself yes sir the first method select the data whose chart you want to create click on chart icon on standard toolbar ओके क्लिक ऑन चार्ट आइकन ऑन स्टैंडर्ड टूल बार वेरी गुड व्हाट इज द सेकंड क्वेश्चन मेथड यस इंसर्ट मैन न्यू चार्ट ऑप्शन बेटा वी आर नॉट टू से लाइक दिस डायरेक्टली व्हाट इज द करेक्ट फॉर्मेशन सिलेक्ट द डाटा क्लिक ऑन इंसर्ट मैन न्यू चूज चार्ट ऑप्शन यस वेरी राइट वेरी गुड सो two ways in which your chart can be inserted in the worksheet are first first of all you have to select the data there are two methods whichever method you want to opt you opt but you have to select the data okay click on chart icon on the standard toolbar this is the first method second method is select your desired data click on insert menu and choose chart option okay got it so all the four questions are clear to all any doubt to any child in any question any doubt to any child in any question raise your hand don't raise your thumb raise your hand if you have any doubt so you all are having assignment registers with you uh, today you will uh, do this assignment okay properly neat and clean by putting date topic assignment top uh, uh, charts in calci right i hope you have noted down the questions i will not put this assignment in the group i hope all of you have noted down the questions yes please all right so let's proceed towards your uh, revision part so this was the chapter we were revising yesterday and uh, we we have covered all these topics so now we are on the next topic of revision is pdf visible to everyone is the pdf visible all right so what is computer beta computer means any electronic device which accepts input from the user processes the input and produces the desired output on the screen right whatever instructions you are giving to the computer accordingly computer performs the work computer does not do anything on its own unless and until user provides him the instruction 
then what are the main basic functions of computer beta there are four basic functions of computer input output process and storage input output process and storage okay basically our computer system is based on a principle that is known as ipo input process output input process output on this principle our computer system is based input means whatever data we are feeding inside the computer process means whatever processing we are doing on that inputted data and output means what results what information what output we obtain from the processing jaise do number hai 2 plus 3 maine dono numbers ko plus kiya five result aa gaya so 2 and 3 were the input plus was the process 5 is the output clear to all okay so ipo stands for input process output and these are the four basic functions of computer input process output and storage clear chatandya lower down your hand so these are the various storage units that are used to store any kind of information cd dvd usb usb stands for universal serial bus it stands for universal serial bus okay what is cd cd stands for compact disc cd stands for compact disc then floppy disk hard disk can you tell me other storage device can you tell me other storage device yes please okay jia janvi you tell me so pen drive and blu ray disc pen drive blu ray disc okay very good very nice okay uh, what is the full form of cd who will tell yes gorav a compact disc compact disc uh what is dvd manyavit digital versatile uh, digital versatile disc digital versatile <coughs> okay uh dhwani what is usb so universal serial bus universal serial bus very good okay what are the four basic functions of computer four basic functions of computer <coughs> again the same hands yes navedita sir input input output 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 process storage input output process and storage very good storage okay what is the full form of ipo cycle yes dharya yes sir sir input process output cycle very good dharya input process output cycle very nice okay now i am showing one diagram to you all 
I give you one minute. All of you, please go through this diagram. Beta, lower down your hands. All of you, lower down your hands. So this diagram represents the basic structure of computer. Okay. First of all, from input unit, you input the data from user to computer using the input devices, keyboard and mouse, right? Then data, it goes to the CPU, it goes to main memory. In the main memory, data is processed, okay? And then it uh, is saved in the secondary memory, right? Secondary memory is having more capacity than the main memory. Secondary memory is also known as auxiliary memory or permanent memory or external memory. Main memory is also known as temporary memory or internal memory or primary memory, right? Then you can retrieve the results via output unit like monitor, okay? The results will be displayed on the screen. That is the monitor. What is another name for monitor? VDU. What is another name for monitor? VDU. Okay. Am I clear to everyone? Any doubt? Any doubt to any child? Okay. CPU. Beta CPU means central processing unit. It is the brain of the computer. Okay. A part, a component which controls and which direct the internal operations of the computer. CPU is used to direct other parts of computer. It coordinates the activities of various parts of computer. What is another name of CPU? Microprocessor or simply we called it as a processor. There are three parts of CPU, ALU, that is arithmetic logic unit, where we perform all the arithmetic and logical calculations. Then CU, control unit. But a control unit is used to control and coordinate all the activities of computer, right? Registers. Registers are the short term fast memory, right? So these are the three sections of CPU. Registers, I told you, it's a very short but very fast memory. And it is used to store data temporary. Clear? So another definition of registers is type of fast computer memory that is used to quickly accept, store, and transfer the data. Clear? Then is your instruction time. What is instruction time? The time in which an instruction is fetched from the memory and stored in the instruction register. Memory say kitna time laga instruction ko receive karne mein or instruction register mein dalne mein kitna time laga. That is the instruction time. The time taken by any program to finish the particular task, that is the execution time. How much time a program takes in order to complete the task, that is called the execution time. Okay? Then is your machine cycle. What is machine cycle? The combination of instruction time and execution time. The combination of instruction time and execution time is the machine cycle. 
then these are the advantages of computer beta you can call it advantages or you can say characteristics or features whatsoever or even you can say benefits of computer high speed the speed of computer is much more than the speed of a normal human being computer can calculate millions and trillions of calculations in a very fast way which is not possible by a normal human being then high accuracy computer performs the calculation with greater degree of accuracy okay reliable beta we are human beings when we do plenty of work for plenty of hours we get tired we get bored so what we do we try to relax ourselves we want to refresh ourselves but computer does not get tired computer does not get bored it can keep on working for plenty of hours so computer is more reliable as compared to human beings then is versatility beta we people cannot do more than one work at one time at one time we can do only one work it is not possible for us to do multiple works at one time but computer is a versatile machine it can perform various tasks at one time okay then high storage capacity we as a human being have less memory we cannot recall past things with greater accuracy but memory of computer is very large okay you can store so many files and folders and per they will be permanently residing till you delete them okay then there are some demerits of computer some disadvantages of computer lack of decision making power beta hum users hum human beings decision le sakte hain computer decision nahi le sakta computer is entirely dependent upon user we will give instruction only then computer will do the work computer cannot take any decision on its own zero iq as compared to human being the iq level of computer is zero human beings they have iq level but computer does not have any iq level no heuristics beta no heuristics ka matlab kya hota hai suppose we have done some mistake and we got punishment for that mistake we will not repeat that mistake in future hame koi galti ki humse koi mistake ho gayi hum wo mistake dobara commit nahi karenge but computer if commit one error the same error can be committed again also because we learn from the past experience computer does not learn from the past experience clear so these are the types of computer first is first category of computer is purpose wise the first category of computer is purpose wise purpose wise there are two categories of computer special purpose computer and journal purpose computer what are special purpose computers special purpose computers are those computers which are designed to perform some particular task some specific task wo kisi khas kaam ke liye bane okay instructions to carry out that task are permanently stored in the machine and such computers are not versatile dekho why they are not versatile as it is already cleared special purpose computers are designed for some special task wo sirf wahi task kar sakte wo koi aur task nahi kar sakte isliye wo versatile nahi hai they cannot do multiple task they can only do one particular task then journal purpose computers beta journal purpose computers they are used generally by the persons 
generally by the public, generally used by anyone. They are versatile machines. They can do plenty of applications. Okay. Then second category of computer is operation wise. First category was purpose wise. Purpose wise ke under do sub type hai special purpose, journal purpose. Then is second category operation wise. Operation wise me hamare paas teen computer hai. Analog computers, digital computers, hybrid computers. What are analog computers? Beta analog computers are those computers which work for continuous data. Like temperature, voltage, jin mein data continuation mein chalta. Okay. Then such computers, they have poor accuracy. And mostly these computers are used in engineering and scientific applications. Then digital computers, the computers which work for discontinuous data. Digital means two states, on, off, low, high, zero, one. And the speed of, the processing speed of digital computer is fast as compared to analog computer. Okay. Okay, questioning round starts. Two computers on the basis of purpose wise. Two computers on the basis of purpose wise. Yes, Japji. A special purpose computer, journal purpose computer. Very right. Special purpose computer and journal purpose computer. Okay. Uh, three computers operation wise. Three computers operation by yes, Garima. Sir, analog computer, digital computer, and hybrid computer. Very good. Analog, digital, and hybrid. Very good. Okay. Which computers are not versatile? Special purpose or general purpose? Which computers are not versatile? Special purpose or general purpose? Yes, Anshia. There's special purpose computers. Special purpose computers are not versatile in nature. Okay. Anyone tell me characteristics of computer? Characteristics of computer. Yes, uh, Japji. Uh, high speed, high accuracy, high storage capacity, reliable, uh, versatile. Versatile. Very good. Shabash. What are the demerits of computer? Yes, Tanveen. <laughs> of decision making power. Yes. Zero IQ. Yes. No, no heuristics. No heuristics. Zero IQ and lack of decision making power. Very good. Okay. Third is your hybrid computers beta hybrid computers are the computers which are combination of analog and digital computers jisme analog ke feature bhi hain jisme digital features bhi hain and what is the best use of hybrid computers they are used in hospitals in order to monitor the patient signs and symptoms and also they are used for weather forecasting right now Digital computers ki aage jo jo sub types hoti hai. These are the sub types of digital computers. First is embedded computers. Beta, they are the computers which consist of very tiny chips. Iske andar bohot tiny chips bani hoti hai. Okay. Then these chips are embedded in the circuitry of appliances. जैसे रिस्ट वॉच है कभी रिस्ट वॉच के पीछे उसको ओपन करके देखो स्मॉल स्मॉल टाइनी चिप्स बनी होती हैं ओके और पूरा सर्किट बना होता है उसका देन दे आर यूज्ड फॉर स्पेसिफिक टास्क रिस्ट वॉच का क्या यूज है टाइम बताती है आप रिस्ट वॉच पे कोई और काम नहीं कर सकते 
right so they are designed for the specific task washing machine you can wash your clothes in the washing machine you cannot do any other work on the washing machine clear okay then is micro computers beta micro computer means a computer whose cpu is called as microprocessor right what is a microprocessor microprocessor ka matlab hota hai ek aisa processor jis pe sare jo bhi hai main components ek hi chip pe hote all the components they are residing on one single chip okay and they are single user system mostly they are used in offices schools stores and these are the examples of your micro computers ibm pc ibm ps oblique 2 okay got it